After today's dose of tech, stay tuned for an incredible call for my weekend show, The Kim Commando Show. And this is a conversation you're not going to want to miss. Imagine you're out for a walk with your dog, Buddy. He gets startled, slips out of his collar, and runs off. Panic sets in as you search for him, but he's nowhere to be found. A nightmare. I'm Kim Commando for Incogni. Stop robocalls, spam texts, junk email, and remove yourself from the internet. Get 60% off today at privacykim.com. Microchipping your pet is important, but for extra peace of mind, try the free FidoAlert.com network. It's like Amber Alerts for pets. Here's how it works. Head to FidoAlert.com and register your pet. Your furry friend gets a unique ID number, and you'll receive a free ID tag with their name, the FidoAlert.com website, and a QR code. If your pet does go missing, you can send a text or email alert to everyone on the FidoAlert network within a mile of where they were last seen. If someone finds your pet, they scan the QR code on the ID tag to get your contact information, and you'll be notified immediately. Again, that's FidoAlert.com. Get your phone number, DOB, and more off the internet at privacykim.com. Here's an outstanding call for my weekend show. You're going to love it. Of course, my weekend show is called The Kim Commando Show. I know, some things in tech really make sense. Uh, Joseph in Portland, Oregon. Hi there, Joseph. Hi, Kim. I'm so glad to talk to you. It's great. Uh, I love your show and your newsletters. And uh, I, I have a question about, and hopefully some other people are asking this too. You've talked already a lot about security today and the new technologies uh, you know, coming out soon using biometric authentication, which I'm, I'm thrilled with. It, it seems that it's still, it's still early. I mean, it's just coming now. And so my question is, I, so I use um, a VPN. I, I, I love the VPN, it's the one that you use. Sure, indoors. ExpressVPN, yes. Yep, ExpressVPN, I love it. Then their support is, is worth it. They, they have great support. But anyway, I, I wanted to, I, I'm just, I'm still paranoid about it, and um, in my last job, I'd had a, a hardware encryption key, mm-hmm. and um, Ubico, I think, is one of the ones. Yeah, there's, that's, there's a variety that's a, that's a big there. one. They've been around for a long time. Well, I, I bought one, and I could not get it to work on my Mac at all, and probably it's me, and probably it's them, but I tried mm-hmm. for a week, and I couldn't get support, couldn't, couldn't get it to work. So I guess my question is, you know, is it still, you know, and everything is always relevant to time, but is it still a good idea to try and use a hardware encryption key uh, or, you know, just wait for the new technology to proliferate? I mean, it's a kind of an odd timing. But yeah, it, it is. We're, we're, we're in the middle <laughs> of a transition from passwords to biometric identities. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I, I've me. I've thought about using USB security keys for years. I don't know. Yeah. I just I just never thought like, well, do I really need this? I mean, you know, the whole idea is that you're going to plug in the key into your device and then bingo, bango, you're authenticated, right? Yeah. Uh, that's right. And you know, so you've got Google has their Titan. Kensington has something called Veramark. There's the Nitro key, yeah. and as you mentioned, the Ubico. Um, I mean, are you are you a Secret Service agent or anything like that? No, no, it's just, uh, I just do a lot online, all my finances, my retirement, all my banking. Well, everything. you know, okay, and that's important. I mean, if, you, if you're doing all your banking, your financials, your trading stocks, doing things like that, uh, you know, my recommendation is that you have two machines. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. you, you only do your financial on one and then you do all your other stuff, surfing, shopping, whatever else you want to do, browsing, AI, whatever it may be. Uh, is that you do that on the other machine. And I throw in AI because right now, uh, Bing, owned by Microsoft, in order to make some extra money, because you know Microsoft doesn't have enough money, is sure. that they <laughs> are uh, putting ads inside Bing search results. Yeah. And some yeah. of those search results are directly attacking, uh, directly attached rather, to malware. So you think <laughs> you wonderful. think that you're like, oh gosh, this is really great. Bing is giving me a download, and you're like, mm, no, mm. not so much. Oh um, my gosh! You know, I I'm not, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of the keys. Uh, uh, I've never really felt a need for myself to use one, so I find it hard to recommend one for you. Uh, okay. Because I think that if you are 
setting up two-factor authentication. You have passwords that are different on each and every account. You keep your systems updated. You have, like you yeah. said, you're using a VPN. You've got a security mm-hmm. software. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of things that are going on right now. And, it's, and if you're yeah. on a Mac, they also have private relay. You know, there's uh-huh. in hide yeah. my email. There's a lot of things that are going on. I just, I'm not, I'm not sure that this is a technology that is the future as much as the technology that is now in the past. Uh, and I would hate to have my money wrapped up in a USB key if that tells you anything. So Joseph, just keep doing what you're doing. I think you're going to be great. And thank you for your call. Hey, thanks for listening. Now, if you have a tech hiccup that you want me to solve, your path is clear. Head over to commando.com and click that email Kim link. I go through every single note. I read every single one, I promise. Now, don't be the last to know. Get the tech edge that you need in today's life. Get my free daily newsletter over at getkim.com. That's getkim.com.